Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, November the 22nd. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 22. The first note. Humility. We always keep before us the example of Christ, who emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and who, on the last night of his life, humbly washed his disciples' feet. We likewise seek to serve one another with humility. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and receive the gift of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Benighty Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 121 through 123. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who, watch, he, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity with itself, to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For there are the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, and quietness within your towers. For my brethren and companions' sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens. And as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he shows us his mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy, for we have had had more than enough contempt, too much of the scorn of the indolent rich, and the derision of the proud. King of love, rule the hearts of all people on earth, through your Son Jesus Christ, that we may become one family and one kingdom, serving you by serving each other. We ask this in his name. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then he took the twelve aside and said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and everything that is written about the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he will be handed over to the Gentiles, and he will be mocked and insulted and spat upon. And after they have flogged him, they will kill him, and on the third day he will rise again. But they understood nothing about these things. In fact, what he said was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what was said. As he approached Jericho, 
a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard a crowd was going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Then he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who were in front sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he shouted even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and ordered the man to be brought to him, and when he came near, he asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, praised God. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the Church throughout the world. For the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We also pray for our church leadership, for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our acting National Indigenous Bishop Sidney, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. We pray today for those places in the world where there is warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Taiwan, China, Russia, Ukraine, and the United States. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those among us today who will suffer from the effects of systemic racism and prejudice. Those who will be seen as unwanted or unworthy, unwelcome, those that we choose not to see at all. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for those in our communities that will experience the effects of poverty or homelessness. Those who will have to make very difficult decisions about what they can buy, what they must leave behind. Those who will be in search of food today, in search of shelter, in search of safety. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, for those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. We give thanks 
for those who minister to the sick. For our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians. For social workers and mental health workers, researchers, and scientists. In this community, we give thanks for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Helping Hands, Safe and Warm, BNRC, and the Bear Clan. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. And we already prayed that, so let's pray for strength in all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are still struggling, whether it be because of their fear of the pandemic, their fear of the other health issues that are among us right now, including the flu and the respiratory uh, virus. For those who are worried about the economic situation in our country and across the world. For those who are concerned by places where there is warfare. For those who are worried about the political climate that currently exists. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying, and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order this morning, we pray for the European province, for Central and Eastern England, and we pray for Beverly, Sonia, Guillermo, Scott, Enrique, Abimal, Maria, Francilla, Enolen, Edwin, Terry, Silan, Charles, Frank, Joy, Gary, Ellen, David, Jay, Diego, Allison, Francesco, Ronaldo, and our companions Kent, Lawrence, and Edward. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that, being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis, and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, our Lord and King, grant that the peoples of the earth, now divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his gentle and loving rule, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our blessed lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen. <laughs>